Portland Metro real estate still feels like it's standing on a precipice as mortgage rates move higher, at least for now. And we see some downward pressure on the average sale price and subsequently homeowners equity. Let's take a look at the latest stats and trends. The average sale price was down 2% from the previous week and down by 1.5% compared to last year at this time. Last year, the average sale price was already starting to rise. However, that was in a more favorable mortgage rate environment. The Freddie Mac average for the month of February last year was 6.26% for the 30-year fixed. As of Wednesday morning, the best case scenario for the 30-year I could see was about 6.625% with most lenders at 7%, if not more. The higher rates move up, the more difficult affordability becomes for buyers, resulting in more downward pressure on homeowner equity. So higher rates, bad for both buyers and sellers. Rates jumped up earlier this week, mainly due to the market's reaction to some hotter than expected consumer price index numbers for January. However, since then, the yield on the 10-year treasury, which is one of our best indicators of where mortgage rates are headed, started to recede again, so we may see rates follow soon. Our supply of homes available for buyers to purchase was up just a half a percent, not much. And at this time of year, we should expect to see the inventory hit bottom and then start to climb back up. The big question is how fast will it increase and will it outpace buyer demand? I think a big part of that equation, of course, is going to be driven by mortgage rates as we head into the spring buying season. Speaking of supply and demand, here's a trend that we've been watching, and it's one that should still be giving a bit of comfort to homeowners concerned about their equity. The number of homes that hit the for sale market this last week came in at 423, which is less than the roughly 524 new purchase agreements signed by buyers and sellers that week. That's a trend that's been holding pretty steady for about six weeks now. I haven't talked about the foreclosure numbers for several weeks just because there's not a whole lot to report. No real change in the numbers of foreclosures and pre-foreclosure homes on the market. Both those numbers have been inching down in recent weeks. In addition to that, the notices of default, which is that first step in the foreclosure process, have remained consistently low. So that's all the excitement I have for you this week. I do want to wrap up by saying I feel like I'm seeing more homes receive purchase agreements this week, but that is just a feeling for now. So be sure to check in with me next week to find out whether or not my feeling proves true or not. Uh, and to make sure that you don't miss any updates, tap that red subscribe button. Have a great weekend, and I will see you right here next week.